Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not To Comic Book. This being a show where I talk about TV shows that are adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about episode 3 of No Bliss. A lot of interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. So obviously we have, well, we now know the uh, team's name, but uh, DA5, obviously their investigation into things. Obviously, it turns out Jake and uh, Marie left kind of some updated notes and that basically the person that get, got blamed for all the devastation was the um, vampire that, um, or the the the, the uh, lackey that M24 made. So that person took all the blame, but obviously that squad knows there's more going on here, but that's as far as like the updates went. So they still don't know about Jake or Marie and the missing M21 and M24, so... They're going to be sticking around investigating. While that's all happening, uh, life at the school continues. You know, even Rye, when he shows up and is like, oh, you're kind of getting quite adjusted to this life here. And M21's like, what about you? And Rye doesn't say anything, keeps walking. So, obviously, uh, all the time that uh, you has put in trying to get Manabu and, you know, trying to be his wingman, getting him closer to Sarah. But it turns out, like, wait, he's near Regis, which is like, wait. Is Manabu more into guys than girls? And then Manabu's talking to Regis being like, Oh, you're so cool. And like, right. How tall are you? Wait, we're about the same height. It's like, basically, we need to find a way to overcome our shortness. But Regis is like, why get so caught up in that? Like, focusing on that too much is like, you know, not dignified. Like, the fact is just kind of accepting it. And just like, Re uh, Manabu's like, Oh my God, Regis, you're so cool. And he kind of gets on M21 because it's like, right. I don't know what you're doing here, but like, you're keeping an eye on it. He's like, no. I'm just doing my job. My job is to guard this school, and that's what I'm going to continue to do, whether you believe me or not. But I love him kind of chastising, because also, you're the ones going out late at night, whatever it is you're doing. You're minors. And he's like, wait, are you just calling us, are you calling us, like, little kids or something like that? And I love that you see a little smirk across Sarah's uh, mouth. She's not usually the one that jumps, like, because Regis is the one, you know, and, and maybe it has that deal of him being on a shorter side, that he's kind of got that Napoleon complex. His bark is a lot worse than his bite kind of type of situation. I love that Sarah is usually the calm, collected one. She is kind of like Rai. She's very, she's someone of very few words. Even less than, uh, well, Rai is even less than her, but still. Uh, which I love that whole bit later on uh, when they're at uh, Frankenstein's place. And there's a whole thing of like him and... Um, M21, Regis and M21 going back and forth about like, uh, I'm going to kill you, you know, I'm going to kill you first. And it's just kind of like, I don't know why you're up here pretending to be human. And he's like, well, he, he don't talks about a promise that he made to a friend because he talks about not being a part of the union anymore. And he's just like, wait, what? But before they can continue the conversation, uh, you have Frankenstein showing up talking about you know, cleaning up, and then he's just like, shut the hell up and start cleaning, because he just, he couldn't take it anymore, it's like, it's so interesting to know the badass that Frankenstein is, that's what I'm talking about, like, the shenanigans of this series, where it's just kind of like, little moments like that where Frankenstein's just losing his shit, because it's like, I need you to clean up this mess, clean it up now, um, and he's literally getting to pick up, and he's like, oh, Sarah, you weren't even asked, and you're doing this, and then Regis is like, well, what about, what about Rye, he's not... He's not doing anything. And then just like, you see like M21 stop and goes, uh. And then like, you see Frankenstein freaking out. He's like, uh, uh. And they're both like, kind of shitting themselves, not knowing how this is going to play out. And Regis is like, it's not fair for um, uh, Sarah, who didn't even eat anything, had to be cleaning up. And Rye gets to sit over and do nothing. And then he stands up at both M21 and Frankenstein are like, uh, uh. And then it, uh, Frank, um, Rye comes over, picks up a piece of trash and throws it in a trash bag. Regis got this nod like, yes. Good, good, good. And then Frankenstein's freaking out like, oh, kill me now. I love it because it's like, oh, my master, how can I let you do such an indignity? Oh, I, 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 I'm so shameful as a servant. I'm the worst. Just bring me death now. Uh, my master lifting a finger to clean up, you know, someone else's mess type of thing. I love it. Um, but at the same time, uh, I don't. Maybe that's from the Manwa, but I don't remember the Manabu and Tao thing. I don't remember that. Um, the whole, like, hack-off that they had. Like, even the whole thing of, like, oh, yeah, his uncle works for the police department. And I was like, oh. Because he was like, I'm doing some hacking for my, like, I'm checking the security system for my uncle. I'm like, I, is that something for, the, like, do you let me know in the comments? I'm, I'll probably find out on my own. But I'm curious, like, is that from the Manwa? I feel like I don't remember that 
being a thing, but I mean, maybe it's something they adapted. It could be straight out of the manhwa, or it could just be something original for the anime, but um, I love the like back and forth, like the hack off, which interesting timing because I was looking at something else. Um, uh, like, uh, what was it? Uh, Trails, or rather, Kaseki related, where there was like a hack off. It's cross spell related so if you if you're familiar with those games at all you'll kind of know what i'm talking about but there was like a hack off thing going and it's just interesting i'll see this episode here but uh yusuke kind of ruined everything by unplugging it which he brings up a point like yeah like you know why is it that your computer cut off the moment i unplugged it and just manabu just gives him a look i'm like oh that must mean like i think well that is a big question. I'm like, oh, like, I, I'd only assume that's because the battery or your computer is so trashed right now that it has to stay charged because that's the only way it's going to stay on. I know from personal experience because I've had a computer under those exact circumstances rather because it's a super old computer. So like rather than getting a battery, I just kept it charged just to keep it on. So I know that firsthand. So I was like, oh, yeah, like I, I know that I know that life all too well. But then, like, you know, uh, Tao, like, after the hacking stopped, it's like, oh, it stopped. I guess because Tao kind of got what he wanted, but also at the same time, like, he was enjoying, like, the back and forth of, like, kind of one up, wanting up with each other. And um, then he was contacting uh, uh, Manabu directly. And I love the fact is that as they're doing it back and forth, he finds out about his age. And it's like, wait. And Yusuke's like, wait, he's into, he's talking to an older woman. Because uh, Tao's like, I'm 24 and it's like, oh, and like, Chang, I'm a guy, by the way. And it's like, oh, he's talking to a guy. But he's like, no matter what, you're still my friend. All I want is your happiness. And if anyone gives you any gives you any crap, I'm going to beat the shit out of him. I'm like, now that's a bro. That's a friend, you know? I love that line. And he's just, and then just Monaboo's like, did I give you permission to be on my computer? So, but obviously, uh, Kranz is looking at the fact is of like, right, they found footage of M21, not of Jake, Marie, or even M24. So it's like, Shark, Hammer, go get him. Uh, also, love this is also the episode that um, that your boy uh, M21 uh, gets his first paycheck where he's like, oh, I didn't know I was getting paid. He's like, why didn't you tell me you weren't getting paid before? Like, did you think I was just going to, like, like forced labor on you or something like that? He was like, no, it was just... It, it just never crossed his mind to think that he'd get a wage. I guess it's like when you've spent so much of your time being someone else's experiment and just he's kind of already living kind of rent free and just kind of able to do whatever he wants to at like with Rye and Frankenstein that just it just never crossed his mind that like, oh, like I, it, 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 he doesn't want to ask for much. And I just, I just thought that was such a fascinating thing. And actually being at the school and everything, seeing everyone, you know, interacting with him. And for a second, he kind of goes like, like, right, I am kind of living this normal life, even though I'm not, even though I was someone who was kind of forced to be an experiment. It's like, who am I, who am I kidding here trying to live like some normal human life? And I'm, I'm not a normal human. Um, because he started kind of getting caught up in everything. It is this thing of, I think, like, he wanted to live like a human, but to be living like one now, just, like, full of myself, like, I'm just, like, some ordinary human, when, like, that's kind of beyond me. I'm I'm this kind of abomination. So, as he, you know, as he's leaving, he ends up getting confronted by Shark and Hammer. And obviously, you know... They're talking mad crap about M24 that pisses him off. He's like, I know I'm no match for him, but he couldn't help himself. His temper got the best of him, and he ends up fighting him. Shark easily out, like, classes him. But then Regis and Sarah show up, and to prevent them from getting involved, even at one point before, like, um, Shark's attack can even land, he gets in the way and takes the blow, like, which obviously Regis could have survived it, but the reason why he took it is because he doesn't want them to know about, like, Regis or Sarah, what their circumstances are, making it seem like, no, 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 they're just regular people, leave them out of this, they have nothing to do with this. Kranz is the one who shows up and he shuts down the whole thing, because it's like, right, I told you to bring in M21 and I'd ask you to do all this. Um, which I even love, like, the moment, uh, Regis got there. What'd he do? Mad shit talking, talking about like, oh, that seaweed on your hair, doing all this because it's like, oh, that's, there's no nobility or oh, yada, yada, yada to it. What about that gut and this and that? Like, once again, just tearing everyone down. Once again, he's doing all the barking because I think legitimately amongst the two of them, Sarah's actually the strongest, if I remember. 
because we haven't really had an opportunity to re really see her fight. We've only seen him fight, but I believe amongst the two, she's actually the strongest. Like, uh, because I uh, he'd actually brought it up last episode, I believe. Um, Frankenstein did, or maybe it was this episode. Uh, that it's like, oh yeah, like, uh, their bloodline isn't, their family's the same as ever. Like, anytime they found out, like, humans were in danger, they obviously showed up to check things out. But obviously their bloodline's gotten weaker over the time, so they're not nearly as strong as they were before. But I love that, once again, in that particular conversation, Rai's like, this is bitter. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Master. And he's like, sugar. Oh, I'm so, so, so sorry, Master. I just, I love that, like, comedy master servant relationship that Rai and um Frankenstein have. But ultimately N twenty one goes with them and for him it's like regardless of anything, like they still think I'm a part of the union, I'll let them keep thinking that because this way I can get information about our real names. My name, N twenty four's name, our our dead comrades. Because I think I think this ends up getting explained later, if I remember correctly. With the context of everything M21 didn't want them involved because, one, if their circumstances were found out, that might lead back to the kids as well as Ryan Frankenstein. And after everything that's kind of gotten offered to him in this normal life, he didn't want, like, to trouble anyone. So, like, it's like, right, this is kind of on me. They don't know about Ryan. So as long as I'm able to keep them away from that, let them just focus on me, then that can be that. You know, I don't want to drag them into this after everything they've kind of given me. But obviously, Reed just kind of is pissed because he, he's misunderstanding the situation. He's like, right, that he's so – because it's like, right, I let that bastard convince me like, oh, you know, that he was – can feel like a promise. Like, how could I be such a fool for believing it? So he's like super pissed off about it. So obviously, he's going to go take them down, not realizing the circumstances of what's going on, but – at the same time, we cut back to the house situation, and there's no cleaning done, and obviously it's like, right, I told M21 to come here and clean, you know, because I'd be working late, and then all of a sudden, it's like, rise there with a vacuum in his hand, and he's clicking, and he's pushing it, and you just focus on, and it's like, it's not plugged in, and he's doing it, even though it's not plugged in, because he doesn't know much about the technology and stuff, obviously this world's still a great mystery to him, that he's just vacuuming over stuff, not actually picking it up, and just like, Frankenstein, just turning around being like let me die now i just like i love it so much it's so good so um very excited to see uh where the next episode ends up taking us going forward with all of this uh but really that's all i want to talk about so the next time we meet be happy be safe light to the fullest and enjoy it good day and goodbye